Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube again. Um, you guys leave me a lot of comments on my, my YouTube and I'm, I apologize for not being able to respond to them all. I took the time today to answer some of your questions. We've selected a few um, questions that stood out and I'm gonna be answering them. All right, first question. 2020 goals. Wow, we're just gonna jump in there and go with like the, the mega question. Okay, I've been thinking about it all year. What are my goals? Um, I would really, really, really love to continue to expand my brands. Mint Swim, um, I'll still in 2020 be working on my collab with Revolve and Super Down. And um, also Fine Ass Girls. I think we've got fitness stuff coming, which is really big. I would love, love, love to be in a major movie as an actress, of course. Um, lead role, you know, nothing major. You know, maybe something, you know, with like The Rock or something, no big deal. But yeah, those are my goals so far. And to, um, I got some New Year's resolutions. We'll talk about those later. Any regrets for 2019? <sighs> Only things that I've eaten and drank I mean yeah I could have I could have been in better shape and I, I I started the year off really strong with a great diet and then I just somewhere down the line I got lost I got hungry I got a sweet tooth just the regret was uh, letting myself go and kind of falling off my diet <laughs> what do I eat in a day speaking of food that I shouldn't be eating well when I'm on my grind and I'm in like working out, um, I definitely have coffee every morning. Coffee and water is like my morning routine. And after that, I like to eat something small and healthy if I'm gonna go work out. I usually like to do like an egg white omelet or sometimes I'll, I'll eat the yellow part of the egg too, like if I just don't feel like separating it. If I don't have eggs, I'll do like a bagel thin with some peanut butter on it, but I try to keep it really light um, because I like to not feel full for my workout. Um, then on to lunch, if I worked out, I try to keep it healthy still. I try to eat like some sort of grilled protein, grilled like salmon or chicken and some kind of vegetable and no carbs. And then for dinner is when I usually like eat my carbs and I eat like more hearty more savory food. I don't really try to diet for dinner because it's just not fun. And what'll happen is if I try, I'll just be hungry again in two hours and then I'll be up at 10 o'clock at night eating cookies because I'm hungry. So I don't cheat myself when it comes to dinner. I, I eat dinner. Lunch and breakfast, I can afford it. I also keep a big liter of water with me in the car so when I'm running my errands, I can at least drink water throughout the day. That's important. It's important for so many things, your skin, your hair, just life in general. What's my exercise routine? Wow, these are just all like going in like a nice little order. Uh, I work out with a trainer because most of the time I'm not motivated to do it myself. I can physically bring myself to the gym, but I'll just be lazy and just walk on the treadmill and you know, I won't like push myself. So I like to have a trainer. And if I don't have a trainer, I like to work out with my best friend because she's very motivating. And I also think that we're both very competitive. So if we're next to each other on the treadmill, if she turns up her speed, I'll turn up my speed. If she starts to jog, I'll start to jog. Um, but you know, that that friendly competitiveness is, is great. But yeah, I try to work out four days a week. You know, just keep it tight and look sexy and not like kill myself. Today I'm a little sore, but it comes with it. Have I ever got caught in public picking my nose? No, I don't pick my nose. I just, I blow my nose. My nose runs a lot, so you will definitely catch me blowing my nose. But no, picking my nose, not really. And I'm very, like I'm one of those people who's kind of aware of who's, who's around. And I'm not gonna pick my nose in front of people. How do I stay authentic to myself? Ooh, I mean, in today's world, it's hard. There's so much things that we see on a daily basis that could influence us to not be ourselves. And you just have to stay grounded. And I think that my family, my kids kind of remind me every day that I'm before I'm this, you know, social media person or this public figure, before any of that, I'm a mom and 
friend and her daughter and you know all of these things so I think that's what my most important responsibilities are and that that's that's what keeps me grounded Ooh, do I want more kids that's a good one I do want more kids I just gotta figure out the non like scientific way to have a girl because I just really want to have a girl but you know I don't want to do all the things that you got to do to try to make one I want it to just come natural so I don't know if I have to pray about it or what but I do want a daughter of my own and oh 2020 resolutions oh we talked about that so I would like to in 2020 I would like to drink more water I would like to consume less alcoholic beverages. I would like to travel to a lot of places that I would not go normally. I'm a big, big fan of like the Caribbean and just like tropical places. I'll spend money and go there all day. Um, I would like to, you know, invest in traveling to places that are cold. Trying not to say um so much when I talk. I say it so much, but I'm getting better. I've gotten so good at it. I, I've, I've came a long way. How do you plan on ringing in the new year? You know, I'm not a big New Year's Eve person, but this year I think I actually might party. I usually am in with my kids. It's always been my tradition. Yeah, I mean, when I was younger, I used to just do New Year's Eve with my mom and we would like wait till the ball dropped and go outside and bang pots and pans together and be like, Happy New Year. So I've always just kind of done it with my kids. And this year I might party. I got invited to some pretty cool stuff. So who knows? I might just be tired and say, I'm going to stay in. But I plan to party. I got some cute outfits I need to wear. Back in a jar. Do you cook Christmas dinner for yourself? Yes, I actually do cook Christmas dinner um, because we just see there was um. Yes, I cook Christmas dinner, but it's not like my Thanksgiving dinner because we just had Thanksgiving. They're literally a month apart. And I feel like Christmas dinner should always be something a little different. So I usually cook an Italian meal for Christmas, some sort of pasta, lasagna, something like that. How do I stay in shape for the holidays? I don't stay in shape for the holidays. That's the problem. I mean, you got Halloween. I literally ate so much candy. Then you got Thanksgiving. I ate and ate and ate and ate. I ate for five days straight, actually. I'm, I'm embarrassed to say. And then you got Christmas and all the Christmas parties and just events that you go to, you go to family's houses, you got your job Christmas party that you eat at and you know it's hard. So how do I stay in shape for the holidays? I don't stay in shape for the holidays. I do me and then I try to make working out more one of my New Year's resolutions like everyone else does. You know everyone runs out in January to go get gym memberships because you know they've been being really bad for the last three months so i don't stay in shape i do what i want and i eat what i want october november december favorite holiday <laughs> my birthday is like a, the, the holiday um besides my birthday which you guys know i go all out for i party for like two weeks straight I take a trip, I go on a party tour, multiple cities, and I party here in LA. Um, I love my birthday. I'm excited about birthdays. Um, my other favorite holiday is probably, I like Thanksgiving, I'm not gonna lie. I get excited about the food, and I like to cook. I like when my family's all here in my house. Each and every year I find myself thankful for my kids. Um, my career and then like there's always something new that I learned to be thankful for that was a deep one if I could make an impact on the world what would it be I mean I would just like to be known as the girl who came from this small city who had big dreams and was able to do it do what I wanted to do plus 10 other things that I never even knew that I was going to be able to do um, I have multiple jobs and multiple um ways to earn income and I just I didn't even think that that was possible so the impact I'd like to make is that other girls that 
you know, maybe don't see that in themselves, um, just to know that it's possible. Like you can be anything you want to be. You can also be multiple things that you want to be. You don't have to be just one. You don't have to just be, you know, one career path. You can do multiple things. Last stuffy question. Favorite holiday traditions. Okay, this is a great one. For Christmas, I like to let my children open one gift every year on Christmas Eve. And guess what? It's always the same thing. It's Christmas pajamas that they can wear for Christmas Eve. So they hate it, but I love it because then they get to go upstairs and put on their Christmas pajamas. Then we put our cookies out for Santa and they go to bed. And then they come down in the morning and they open their gifts and they're in their Christmas pajamas and I take pictures of them. And I think that's pretty much one of my traditions that I personally started. But I think I got that from my mom. I think she always let me open up one gift on Christmas Eve. And it was always pajamas. So, you know, Christmas pajamas is a thing over here. Okay, so I answered all your questions that you guys had on YouTube. So I hope you guys got a little insight of who I am. This is the holiday edition of Q&A with Drea. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you guys all for tuning in. And just to let you guys know, I do read your comments. I know I don't respond to them, but I do read them. So thank you so much. Bye, happy holidays.